Okay, so I wouldn't watch this video unless the left and right make sense from the previous examples and the previous try problems, because this is just building on top of that. So if you need to pause and go get help on that section, do that before moving forward. Um, here also, our answers are just going to be left and right, but now we're messing with temperature. When we're looking at temperature, you'll notice I started for these examples we're going to go through, I started giving you delta H's, heat of reactions. Honestly, the number doesn't matter, but the sign does, positive or negative. If we have a negative heat of reaction, you should remember, that means it's an exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction, heat is being released. So that's stuff you already know. If you think about heat being released, meaning that the heat is produced, it's easier to see that we are going to treat heat as a product. Whereas when we have a positive delta H, it is endothermic, heat is absorbed, or we can say that it's used, it's taken in, it's being absorbed and used. We are going to, in that case, think of heat as a reactant. And here's what I mean. When we're talking left and right, it's helpful to know, okay, my reactants are on the left. So if I ever have a hill over here, it's going to shift that way. If I ever have a hole over here, it'll shift this way. Um, my products, hill would make it shift that way, hole would make it shift that way. Um, so knowing what side something is on helps a lot. For this example, negative sign means that we're going to treat heat as a product. So I'm going to literally write the word heat on the product side of my arrow. Products are always the right side. It doesn't matter that we're using equilibrium arrows. Still the reactants and the products. So negative means I treat heat like it's something on the right. Um, let's say I decreased the amount of CD. If I said tell the shift if I decrease CD. Well, that would be a hole on the right. So I would shift right to fill it. No different if I decrease temperature. Decreasing temperature is the same as removing heat. I could say decrease the temperature. I could say remove heat. I could say cool the container. I could say remove heat. Really, all of those things are the same way of saying remove heat. So if I'm removing something from the right-hand side, that's a hole on the right, I would shift right to fill it. That's because heat was over here. Heat was over here because delta H was negative. This was given. You'll never have to find it. Whereas in this question, in this example, delta H is positive. So I'm going to treat heat like a reactant. I'm going to put it on the left side with A and B. Um, now, if I add heat, that's like a hill on this side. I would shift right to flatten it out. Um, heat is added, container is heated, temperature is increased, all the same way of saying that I added more heat. Now, you'll see we've got the same answer for both of these, even though in one case we're taking heat away and in one case we're adding heat. That's because the heat started on opposite sides, so the effect is different. Try that.